When you're looking at houses online, which one are you more likely to want to go look at? This one or this one? Having a properly staged home is the first step to getting really great photos of your home. And getting great photos of your home is the most important step in getting you the most money in your pocket in the shortest amount of time when you do decide you're ready to sell. I'm Desi Williams, owner and broker of Revista Realty here in Southern Idaho. In this video, we're gonna talk about staging your home for professional photography. In current market, these photos are usually the first thing most buyers see when they're shopping for their home. So we wanna make sure we have a great first impression. Let's jump right in. Step number one, get your exterior ready. Curb appeal is so important as that's the first impression. And as we know, first impressions are everything. How to get your outside ready. Mow the lawn, trim the shrubs, sweep or power wash the walkways and driveways, as well as the exterior of the home. Get your windows professionally cleaned inside and outside. Move all the cars out of the driveway. Hide your trash can. Put children's toys and bicycles away. Store seasonal decor. Put away garden tools, supplies, and garden hoses. Straighten your deck furniture. And don't forget, scrub that front door. To go above and beyond, some extra things that you can do is replant planters with fresh flowers and spread out fresh mulch for that pop of color. Now for the inside of your house. You've got to get rid of all the clutter. Box up any items you won't be needing in the next few months and stack them neatly in a corner of the garage. Open all your window coverings. Replace all burnout light bulbs and make sure that in each room, all the bulbs are the same brightness. Turn on all the lights, including lamps. Hide your trash cans. Give each room a fresh vacuum. Sweep hard surface flooring. Turn off TVs and ceiling fans and hide those remotes. Put all your mail in a drawer. Remove all your personal items. Hide power cords. Arrange DVDs, video games, and books neatly on the shelves. Minimize your knickknacks. Less really is more. Now let's move on to the kitchen. Specifically in the kitchen, you wanna make sure you remove all art and magnets from the refrigerator. Put all the food away in cabinets. Clear all the clutter off the counters, including kitchen aids, blenders, knives, all of it. Get it out of there. Hide soap, scrubbers, dish towels. Put away the dish rack. Organize any open shelving. Clean the backsplashes and make sure your stainless steel is sparkling. Get rid of all those fingerprints. Onto the dining area. You wanna make sure to straighten all the chairs. Create a minimalist tablescape and organize that china hutch. Hide any high chairs or booster chairs. Onto the bedroom. Make all the beds. Arrange decorative pillows on each bed. Hide clothing and shoes. Clean out underneath the bed or shove it really far back underneath the middle where no one can see it. Get rid of the surface clutter, including toys, tissue boxes, lotion, books, chargers, all of it, gone. Make sure you turn on the bedside lamps. Remove posters from the walls. In the bathroom, this is a really important one. You wanna make sure the bathroom is sparkling head to toe. So clean the bathroom, make sure there's not spots on the faucets or the mirrors. Hang fresh white towels. Remove all soap, shampoo, face wash, and trash cans. We want those shower curtains open. It adds an extra two feet into the bathroom space, making it look bigger. Shake out your rugs to make sure that they look nice and fresh. Clean the tub in the shower. Close those toilet lids. And make sure that the toilet paper roll is at least half full. And make sure you hide all the plungers and toilet scrubbers. Now onto pets. We all love pets. They're so cute and so furry. Get rid of them. Hide your pets, hide their toys, get rid of their fur off the furniture, hide their food in a closet. Get the pets out of sight so that way when people are looking at your photos, they don't see a cat perched up on the bed. So these are all tips to get your home staged for photography, but a lot of these pertain to when you're showing your house as well. So when you get that first showing call, revisit all these steps. Lights on, blinds open, pets away, dirty laundry away, hide all your clutter. One tip that I really like to do is just get a laundry basket, run around, throw all your junk in it, put it back in your car, and then when you get home, you can just dump it back out on the floor and be the same as when you left. Well, that's all I've got for you. I hope you liked my tips for getting your house ready to list and photograph. 
If you have any questions, reach out below. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips like these. Good luck selling your house. Desi out. onto the bedroom where the magic happens. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs>